Hey guys, Mia here from the Block and Chain. Today we are going to be demonstrating how to set up the Ledger Nano S, one of the few ways to store your crypto offline in a safe manner. Please remember to subscribe and like our video. Today we will be covering the following topics: initial configuration of the Nano S, installation of Chrome browser extensions, installation of required software to the Nano S. How to send and receive your first funds to your Nano S. First off, let's head over to LedgerWallet.com and grab the necessary software we will need to get started. Now that we're at Ledger.com, we're going to head over to the Applications section and scroll down and click Ledger Manager. Once clicking Ledger Manager, we will simply click on Get the App and finally click Install. Once we have clicked Install. We will receive a Chrome prompt asking us to add the Ledger Manager to the Chrome. Go ahead and add the extension to Chrome. Congratulations! The Ledger Manager is now successfully installed. For the sake of this tutorial, we will only be installing the Ledger Ethereum wallet. However, if you wish to install any other wallets, just select the wallet you wish to install under the Application section and follow the steps below. Let's go. Let's head back over to the application section, and this time we will simply be selecting Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Once selected, we will once again click Get the app and click Install. We will then be prompted with a similar Chrome prompt as before, asking us to add the Ledger Wallet Ethereum to Chrome. Follow the same steps as before and add the extension. Now that your computer has been configured. We will set off and begin to configure the physical device itself. To start, we need to plug the device into one of the USB ports on our PC or Mac. Please note that the device has only two buttons, and we will be using these buttons to interact with the device. Once plugged in, initially we will be prompted with a welcome screen like this. To begin, simply press both buttons at the same time. For the first step, we will need to choose a PIN number to secure our device. Press both buttons at the same time to continue to the PIN setup prompt. Please note that the PIN is required to be a minimum of four digits long. To change the desired digit on the device, simply press the right or left buttons. Press both buttons on the device to confirm the desired digit. Once you have selected your PIN, you will then be required to confirm it once more. Please go ahead and confirm the PIN once more. The next step is very important, as it's the only way to recover your funds in the event you lose your Nano S. Or it stops functioning. For the sake of security, make sure to write this down on paper. Do not simply take pictures, and remember to store multiple copies of your recovery phrase in a secure location. Once you have written down your recovery phrase, you will be required to confirm it. Press both buttons at the same time to begin confirming the recovery phrase. Simply use the left or right button to change between the words, and once you have found the correct word, press both buttons to continue to the next word. For the next step, we are going to install the Ethereum application on the Nano S. This will allow the Nano S to interact with the Ledger Wallet Ethereum Chrome application. Once you have started the installation procedure, you will be prompted by your Nano S to confirm the installation of the application. Simply press the button farthest away from the USB port to confirm the operation. After the installation is completed, you will see a new option appear on your Nano S called Ethereum. For the next step. We're going to configure the Nano S to work with the Ethereum Chrome extension, and we will demonstrate how to send and receive funds. The first thing we will need to do is to configure the Nano S to be detected by the Ethereum Chrome extension. To do this, we will need to select the Ethereum icon on the Nano S 
and press both buttons. Once pressed, we will then need to find the settings menu and press both buttons once again. Once we are there, we will need to find the option called contract data, press both buttons again to enter that menu. Once we are in that menu, press the button farthest away from the USB port once to select the yes option and then press both buttons to confirm your selection. Great work! Now the Nano S is detectable by the Ethereum Chrome extension. OK, now we are going to use over computer once again and find the Chrome application called Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Go ahead and click the application to open it. Once the application is open, it will look like this. For the sake of our demo, we are going to select ETH. Go ahead and click on it. Now we are finally in our wallet with a nice balance of zero. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's go over receiving funds. To receive funds, simply press on the down arrow located here. You will be prompted with a QR code and your ETH address. This QR or ETH can be sent off to anyone that you wish to receive funds as simple as that. To send funds, it's also just as easy. Press the up arrow, type in the amount you wish to send, and type in the ETH address you wish to send the funds to. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and also please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.